Welcome. Today we're going to talk about high valued men and women and what makes them actually high value. Now, I'm not saying if you don't have these traits, you're not high value or that you're worthless or anything like that. That is not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is everything that we purchase, right? Everything that we buy, everything we look at has a value to it. Am I gonna buy this article of clothing at Walmart or am I gonna buy it at Gucci? What makes the difference in quality between those two things? And they each serve functions. But let's get right into it. First, we're going to talk about the showreel. <laughs> you can't make it too much. So when we define value in the dictionary, it actually talks about a measure of worth of something. Right? So if I go buy a watch at Walmart versus a watch at Gucci, they're going to have different value levels. Why? Well, the same thing happens when we're working with relationships. What makes me value one person over another? To me, right? So each trait, each person you're gonna run into has little nuances depending upon who you're working with and what they value in their own life. So first, especially for men, when you chase women, are you chasing them or are you attracting them? In other words, where is your energy towards the person that you're attracted to? A high value man, you see, will make himself attractive in ways, will engage with a woman, but also, and this is really important, this is something people don't talk about, as he's engaging, creates a sense of safety. So a woman doesn't have to feel defensive or blocked or nervous about where this is going. So whether you're engaging with a woman for a one night stand or a lifelong relationship, engaging in a way that is quality, that is caring, that allows her to come towards you, and that is authentic, that is a good trait of a high quality man. And going along with that, another trait of a high quality man is confidence. Right? Someone that can act as a leader, that can step up, that knows his own value and his worth. In other words, he treats himself well. Maybe he dresses nice for whatever nice is for him. He keeps himself fairly well groomed, which is going to be different if you're living in up woods, northern Wisconsin or in the middle of the mountains, or if you live in downtown New York, those things may look different. However, there's a quality of energy of I care for myself, I value myself, I value my knowledge and my own being. Because when you come to somebody else, when you start attracting people for dates, when you show up for a job and people can feel and see and observe that you value who you are, that you take care of yourself, that you respect yourself, that makes you more high value to them as well. Why? Because when we respect ourselves, we tend to respect others. Now there's a fine line between being confident and egotistical, right? In fact, if you look at some research, they'll say that people would have rather have someone that they can trust over someone that's a leader, right? Like if you, and if you put them in the graph, they find that the low trust, high leadership or high productivity people tend to be more toxic. So people would rather have high productivity and high trust or even medium productivity and medium than the high productivity, low trust person. Why? Because we want to all be respected, cared for, and valued. Because people who don't care about other people, about the team, about the corporation, about the relationship as a whole, tend to not be the people that we want to be with long term. Another quality of a high value person and, and a high value man is being true to your word. Now this means everything from speaking honestly all the way up to actually setting and confirming dates. Like, hey, I would like to hang out with you. Let's set a time. Taking some responsibility for planning that. Confirming the place that we're gonna go. If you're gonna surprise her on a date, making sure that she's dressed appropriately. Are we going to the beach or are we going to a fancy dinner club? That's going to make a difference on how I'm dressing for the night. So making sure that the woman you're caring for, the people that you're going out with are aware of what to expect. The high value man 
also honors commitments. What they say they're gonna do, when they say they're going to do it. They're gonna follow through and when they don't follow through, they take responsibility. Like, hey, I know I said I was gonna do that. However, I'm not gonna be able to do that till next week. Or I apologize that this didn't get done or that things had to change. Here's why, and open up a dialogue of honesty, of truth, of honor. Have you ever had someone really tell you the truth and you've been able to forgive them much more easily? Because we all screw up. So when you are creating value for yourself and around yourself, in your business, in your work, in your family relationships, in your friend relationships, in your companies, these are really important. Allow people to come to you. Be confident, value yourself value your word, stand behind your commitments. And also, always be growing, always be learning. So let me give you an example. Have you ever met somebody who was really great when they were young and then when they were in their 30s or in their 40s or in their 50s, they were still the same person? Like they were acting the same way, they had the same ideas about the world, they were in the same job. Now there can be nothing wrong with that, but aren't we here in life to grow? Have you ever learned something new and allowed it to change who you are and how you interacted with the world in a better way? So that's why it's so important as you become a high value person to do these things to learn, to grow, to find acceptance, understand other people's opinions, respect yourself, but also respect others. Let others come to you, treat them with kindness, follow through on your word. And as a little bonus, of course, a high value person also has their own interests, their own things they love to do, whether that be in their business, whether that be in their personal life, in and outside of their relationships, right? Because they value themselves and they value others enough that having a little bit of time alone and not doing everything with a certain person gives them strength. So as you learn, as you grow, allow it to create an ambition, a confidence, a strength, a power within you, right? Because isn't that value? Good. So tell me the favorite value that you love in somebody else down below. I look forward to seeing you again. Remember your love, you're loving, and you are lovable.